So we will stand up all together, raise our eyes up to the sky with faith and love in our hearts, and we will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will give a Hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Brett at the moment, entertainer, the most inspirational woman in all of Russia today. Uh, here we go, uh, second part of Two for Tuesdays. And what we have is, I'm going to be giving my predictions. I say it's, it's going to be rapid fire predictions. Um, and we'll see how many I get right on Sunday night. So here we go, Oscars predictions. Right. First off, visual effects. Blade Runner 2049, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Kong Skull Island, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and War for the Planet of the Apes. That one is going to Blade Runner. Costume design, Beauty and the Beast, Darkest Hour, Phantom Thread, The Shape of Water, and Victoria and Abdul. Uh, I'm going for Beauty and the Beast on that one. Uh, okay. Uh, makeup and hair, Darkest Hour, Victoria and Abdul, and Wonder. Uh, Darkest Hour is going to win that one. Uh, original song, okay. Mighty River from R Mudbound. Mystery of Love by from Call Me By Your Name, Remember Me from Coco, oh, that's a tough one. Uh, Stand Up For Something from Marshall, and This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to go for This Is Me, because Greatest Showman, awesome. Um, original score. Uh, Dunkirk, Phantom Thread, The Shape of Water, The Last Jedi, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Uh, gonna go for three billboards or uh, not actually no Realistically, I think the three billboards could win this one, but I'm wanting Dunkirk to win So uh, Production design Beauty and the Beast Blade Runner 2049 Dark Darkest Hour Dunkirk Shape of Water Production design. I think Shape of Water is gonna take that one Sound mixing Baby Driver Blade Runner 2049 Dunkirk Shape of Water Star Wars Last Jedi. I'm gonna go with Blade Runner on that one Sound editing, Baby Driver, Blade Runner 2049, Dunkirk, Super Water, Star Wars, Last Jedi, again, Blade Runner 2049. Film editing, Baby Driver, Dunkirk, I, Tonya, Shape of Water, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I'm going to go with the Shape of Water on that one. Okay, Best Foreign Film, A Fantastic Woman the, uh, from Chile, The Insult from Lebanon, The Loveless from Russia, On Body and Soul from Hungary, and The Square from Sweden. I'm going to go with On Body and Soul from Hungary. Best live action short film. Deck Lab Elementary, 11, The 11 O'Clock, My Nephew Emmett, The Silent Child, and Watu Wolves Like All of Us. I'm going to go with The Silent Child on that one. Documentary short subject. Uh, documentary short subject. Edith and Eddie, Heaven is a Traffic Jam on the 405, Heroin, Knife Skills, and Traffic Stop. I'm going to go with Heroin on that one. Best documentary feature, Abacus, Faces Places, Icarus, Last Men in Aleppo, and Strong Island. I'm going to go with Icarus. Cinematography, Blade Runner, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Mudbound, Shape of Water. I'm going to go with The Shape of Water on that one. Original screenplay, The Big Sick, Get Out, Ladybird, The Shape of Water, Three Billboards Outside in Missouri. Again, Shape of Water on that one. Adapted screenplay. Call Me By Your Name, The Disaster Artist, Logan, Molly's Game, and Mudbound. I'm going to go with Logan. Animated Short, Dear Basketball, Garden Party, Lou, Negative Space, Revolting Rhymes. I'm going to go with Lou because Disney always do well with their, their animated stuff. Talking of animated features, uh, The Boss Baby, The Breadwinner, Coco, Ferdinand, and Loving Vincent. Coco's going to win that one because Disney have been on a roll recently. It wouldn't, too, wouldn't surprise me too much. Uh, best director, Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk, Jordan Peele for Get Out, Lady Bird for uh, Greta Gerwig, Phantom Thread, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, and The Shape of Water, Guillermo del Toro. I'm going to go with Guillermo del Toro. Supporting actress, Mary J. Blige on Mudbound, Alison Jenny, Jenny from I, Tonya, Leslie Manville, Phantom Thread, Laurie Metcalf, Lady Bird, and Octavia Spencer for The Shape of Water. I'm going to go with Octavia Spencer. Supporting actor, Willem Dafoe for The Florida Project, Woody Harrelson, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Richard Jenkins, The Shape of Water, Christopher Plummer, Old Money in the World, and Sam Rockwell, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. I'm going to go with Harrelson on that one. Okay. 
Right. Here we go. Uh, lead actress. Sally Hawking is the shape of water. Francis McDormand. Three billboard titles are Devin Missouri. Margot Robbie. I, Tonya. Saoirse, of course. Twice I've done that now. Uh, Where is it the bathroom? Uh, Saoirse Ronan for Lady Bird and Meryl Streep for The Post. I'm going to go with Meryl Streep on The Post. In The Post. Uh, let's see. Lead actor. Here we go. Um, Timothy Chalamet, uh, Chalamet for Call Me By Your Name, Daniel Day Lewis for Phantom Thread, Daniel Kaluuya for Get Out, Gary Oldman for Darkest Hour, Denzel Washington for R Roman J. Israel esque. I don't know. I'm going to go with Gary Oldman. And now the big one Call Me By Your Name, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water. And three billboards outside Epping, Missouri. Now, for best picture, if the BAFTAs were anything to go by a few weeks ago, I am going to go with three billboards outside Epping, Missouri. I mean, I'm surprised Darkest Hour hasn't managed to get as many awards as it would have liked, but I mean, I was expecting Darkest Hour to win a few more awards, probably about four, maybe five, but it only walked away with two. So I'm going to go with Ebbing, Missouri, because I think realistically that's going to be the best one for the job. Uh, the Shape of Water does have 13 nominations, though. So I wouldn't be too surprised if it walked away with a few of those awards, but anyway. So anyway, that's my rapid-fire Oscar... Uh, looks, like, looks like that's my rapid-fire Oscar nominations out of the way. So, uh, tomorrow... Oh boy. To be giving my thoughts on uh, the latest episode of The Walking Dead. Spoilers will be in place if you haven't seen the episode yet. 